for a third time. You kind of get the theme here. But this time it's a little different. Um, I like this little idea here. I don't get why you have to fight them all three times. Twice with the same character. Um, I think they were trying to recapture what they had with three. And through the power of Nero. Which Nero, in my opinion, isn't really that good. Well, he's actually a lot better than Dante in this game. But Dante is fucking amazing in this game. He's amazing in general. I know, I know what to do with this one. Yeah, we gotta progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Story plots. We know. Let's fucking go. Okay. It get, it's kind of a bitch to do, this one is. Alright, I landed on the blue. So, you see that purple over there? That's what you gotta land on. If you land on anything else, you're not getting out of here. So this could take a while, ladies and gentlemen. I know I said that about the, the, the jungle, but this one might legitimately take a while. I don't know. Please be two. I hate you. Go to hell. Oh, never mind. It went straight on the yellow. Never mind. Yeah, the yellow here takes you automatically to the purple. So, that's good. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. You don't fight every boss in the game again. You like smoke it. You fight a little bit of everything. Oh, my God. Game. You're changing the fucking rules. Stop with the Kamehameha. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill you. Can one of you guys please die? One of you. Anybody. Thank you. Yawn of the night. And I'm getting sleepy. So this will definitely be my last one for tonight. So. Oh, in case you didn't know, I recorded from 9 all the way till 19 in one sitting. Um. I did all this in one night, so that's why I keep saying, oh, blah, blah, blah. that's why I keep saying about, oh, this is going to be my last time, this is going to be, I'm going to be sleeping or whatever, I'm going to sleep, this is my last one, that's why I say that a lot, I'm sorry for not making that clear in the last, last episodes that I was talking about, that was going to be my last one, I'm going to bed, sorry guys, that's kind of my bad. Guys and gals. You know, I'm so I got to thinking, um Have you guys have you guys and gals ever played with gamer chicks? Um, not just because of her hot ass or her tits or whatever. Like just to have a you ever had a gamer chick just to have a gamer chick friend? Like because in my opinion chicks are really or what's missing in gaming you know there's no gamer chicks anymore you know there I mean there never was I mean there's more than there was in the 90s that's for damn sure um, when it was just casual and it didn't really have such a demanding audience but I really think that there should be a lot more gamer chicks than there are because gamer chicks are fun it's just I just don't 
Like for instance, on Twitch, there's a lot of gamer chicks. I just don't go in, like, I just don't go in a lot of the chats on Twitch because there are some fucking perverts there. Seriously. Y'all act like y'all ain't never seen a woman before. Seriously. It's like really, and who the fuck says tits or GTFO anymore? I'm sorry, but that's really annoying. Like the way the way they treat those chicks there on Twitch is just really redundant and ridiculous. And it's really stupid the way they treat those gamer chicks over there. But I'm not gonna go on a rant about that. Cause they're I mean, like I said, gamer chicks are a rare breed. And I really wish there was more of them. And I just wish people would act like they've seen a woman before like some of those some of those people especially a lot of them I know they're teenagers too they act like they ain't never seen a woman before it's like dude calm your tits seriously it's just they really just act like idiots I mean, there are some good people in Gamer Chick streams, don't get me wrong. There are some really good people. But it's most of them, most of those people are like nice tits. That's what most of those perverts do. And I'm not really the kind of person that would do that. I'll go in there and just say hi. And that's it, you know? But I don't stay in there long because those people are vicious in there. Some of those people are vicious, and I'm not that kind of person. You know, I'm not that, I'm not the vicious type. I believe in treating, I believe in doing on to others what you would want done to you, or treat others, or in short, treat others how you'd want to be treated. You know, if you want to treat someone like shit, expect that same reaction back. You know. That's how I was written. That's how I was brought up. I don't know about anyone else, but... I was also brought up to treat ladies with respect. Online and offline. You know what I mean? Because if you're that way to them online... That's going to instantly think... That's going to leave a bad taste in people's mouths. They think that you're like that in real life. Because that's what... I mean... Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just what I would portray. Because it's just how I am, I guess. But overall, I'm just... But on average, I keep to myself. It just sometimes it really gets on my nerves. It really gets to me. It just... It really, really pisses me off. You know, I don't know about anyone else. But I have gamer chick friends that are just that. Gamer chick friends. Now, this is where I got the idea of where you have to fight every boss again. Because you kind of do. But yeah, sorry. Sorry about the little rant. I, mean, I just really think, one, there should be more gamer chicks out there. And two, I think people should act like, at least use their common sense when they're talking to some gamer chicks, you know? But I'm not saying that gamer chicks are perfect, because they're not. There are some real bitches out there. Like, seriously, they flip the bitch switch so fucking fast. You just say hi, and they go, what the fuck do you want, you know? Like Brittany Venteni, but I'm not going to talk about her. I'm not even going to give her the privilege of me saying her name, because I honestly think that is making gamer chicks look bad. Brittany Venti, Brittany Vanti is making, I know I said her name wrong, I'm aware of that, but I think that's the, what a gamer chick, I think that is the epiphany of what a gamer chick should not be, you know what I mean, she's hot, don't get me wrong, that's all she is, is eye candy, but I don't look at it, I don't look at you know, I don't look at eye candy, you know, I look at the personality underneath it, you know, 
you can get some butt ugly chick to me. You know, you can get some fat, ugly buck tooth chick. If she has a, if she has a heart of gold, I'm gonna talk to you because that's just how I am. Like, or anybody in general, I'm not really the kind of person to judge somebody based upon their looks because I'm not the fucking prettiest thing in the world. I'll tell you right now, I'm not. I'm ugly as fuck, I think. But I have a heart of gold and I'm I'm a realist about things. But yeah. But enough about that guys. I sorry about going all there and going on like a twenty minute rant about well not even a rant, just a conversation about gamer chicks and what's missing and bad gamer chicks and sorry about that guys. Like I said, it's three in the morning. I really, I'm really in the danger zone with the sleep and stuff. That's pretty much what I do when I'm really tired. I babble about nothing. Oh, great. Thanks. Let's just go run on the red again. Thanks. This stage is gonna take forever. Oh, great. You. You, asshole. Captain Douchebag, get over here. Mm. Wow. Changing the rules again, huh? I don't get it, man. What's with this game changing the fucking rules all of a sudden? Wow, and I got a triple S, whoa. I was expecting him to turn red and just like disappear again, not blow up, you can't. Game, why are you changing the rules? I don't mind, that, that, that was a good thing. Cause I don't want to do this stage any longer because honestly, stage is really annoying. Why did I do that? That was just fucking dumb. Jeez, you fat ass frog. Get him a lot while he's disappearing. Wow, double frozen much? That's just double freeze. That's cool. So, buddy, negative. Jeez, ass. You're dead. No? Now you're dead. That was easy. Okay, 
later. Alright, so let's go. Let's go here. Ouch. Oh, I got a crap in my leg. Oh, shit. Sitting in one spot too long. Oh. Oh, my freaking. Oh. My knee hurts really bad. Holy shit. Sitting in the same spot too long. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm better. I'm a lot better now, but. Ugh. I got lines on the back of my leg. That's what it is. So when you sit too long in the same spot, you get light, you develop lines in the back of your legs. I don't know if that's just me or or what, but yeah, that really hurt. I'm usually not a complainy poo, but complainy poo. What even is that? But anyway, like I said, I'm usually not a complainy pants, but. Complainy poo. What the fuck? Where does that even come from? Where do I even come up with some of this shit? Complainy poo? What? What the fuck even is that? Complainy poo. I still can't get over that. Where did it even come from? That was so dumb, dude. Like, what? Who says complainy poo? Any existence of ever from anybody. What crack pipe were you smoking, boy? I'm sorry, but I that just drove me crazy. You know, Kev, you need to really go to bed, like, after this episode, because you are borderline high, making up words and shit, really, really, dude, I'm sorry, but that was just really, that really bugged the hell out of me, I don't know why, oh my god, kind of like me rolling a six unnecessarily just to stall this damn out, man, come on. No! Shut up! Okay, good. I was about to say, do I really get a... Oh, really? Can I get it? Yeah, this is a really long battle, shit. It's gonna be the longest episode of them all, mind you, so... I may actually end up splitting this into two parts. Um, so... Depends. Cool. All right, Snakey. Time to die, little Python. I was talking to you, not me, asshole. Really? Being difficult? You and your stupid hair. Come on. All right, time to die now.
we get it. This bitch is gonna die, not to worry. But like I said, I might have to split this into two parts. For real this time. Oh yeah, time to die. Dead. Or maybe not, maybe not. No, I don't. Good. Because that's the last boss. Nice. I think this is the last floor as well, so... Very nice. I think... Uh, yeah. I think so. No, it is not the final floor, so it's, there will be two parts. Son of a bitch. I was really hoping that there wasn't, but eh, it's okay. If there is, there is. It's all right. It's understandable. Oh, shit. Never mind. There might not be, so... Wow, that was actually... Boom. You're about to die. Sorry to disappoint you, buddy. It's about to happen, buddy. You're about to die. Oh, boy. And you're dead. That was... Not bad, actually. We get it. Just fucking die already. Nobody likes you. You're ugly. You have no friends. And you have wings. And you fly. Who fucking does that? That made no sense, but I don't care. That made absolutely no sense at all, but... Eh, whatever. Okay. Next up. Oh, shit. I keep thinking about that spider from fucking Devil May Cry 3. And then the spider is not in here. And is that just me, ladies and gentlemen? Was that bright as fuck? Because that still gets me every time. Even though I've played this so many times. And it still gets me. And it's still bright as fuck. Yes, Nero. We get it. And we didn't have to go into two parts. Congratulations to us. So, yeah. That took way longer than I wanted it to. <gasps> and I got an S. Fucking A. Okay, guys. On that note, this is the end of this episode. We got a long one. That's what she said. This is Buster Boy 46 signing off saying, Game on, rock out, stay frosty. Later, everybody. Thanks for watching. See ya.